Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we're going to be making a guide for Rumble top lane. Now I did already make a few guides for Rumble top lane in the past, but today we're going to be making a new one, guys. So firstly, for the runes, which I would always recommend in almost every single game, is going to be an Arcane Comet with Nullifying Orb, with Absolute Focus, and Scorch. Also, taking the Taste of Blood in the secondary and the Revenous Hunter. For the uh, bonus stats, we have two into AP and then one into Armor. Now, for the starter item, I would always recommend going for a Doran Shield in most matchups, especially if you're playing into a matchup like Gangplank, who's like actually poking a lot. Uh, for the skill order, I would recommend maxing Q, then E, then W, and for the entire full build, I'm going to leave the entire full build in the description as we go over it throughout the game. Anyways. The way how Rumble works is quite interesting. He works very different from most matchups, but one thing that you should keep in mind, um, if you're playing Rumble, having the pressure in the lane is very important. Also, kiting with your Q is very strange to do, like most champions are having like a very different playstyle, but Rumble in specific, it's all about like kiting with your Q's knees and everything. While trying to maintain like a yellow bar with this champion, it's kind of hard to pull off if you're like new to Rumble, but I'm gonna take my shield here. Nice. He's probably gonna pop the barrel. Most likely. Alright. I think I can kill him right here, actually. I just need, like, one more. I think I can kill him here. There we go. So something I would recommend is it's not just all about like queuing and using your auto attack and everything in between, but it's also like about like hiding with your Q all the way until until he completely runs off. It's very good if your opponent actually runs off from you. It's all about like actually con like continuously hitting your Q over and over uh, while he just like run away. That's perfect. I got that one. Every time Gangplank is going to poke us, we can already, like, we can always use uh, my W to counter that as well. Uh, come to, oh, I, she should have W'd a little bit sooner, but I think we can kill these guys here. My jungler is coming on the way right now, too. Uh, that's pretty close. Alright, we got him. This is typically the way how Rumble top lane actually works. You're basically playing super aggressive in the lane. You're constantly like poking with your Qs all around. And basically chasing people down so you can do like the maximum damage. That's, that's pretty much what Rumble top lane is all about. Bone plating against... Like this guy actually has bone plating inside of runes. Which is actually completely useless against me, but... It's very important, like one thing which is very important about Rumble top lane is that you keep the yellow bar. It's pretty hard to pull off at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's not going to be that hard. Alright. I think we could actually kill him right here right now. He's going to be forced to try and fight me right here when he tries to farm. Oh, I've accidentally took a little bit too much damage, but whatever. Alright. As you guys can see, like, the Arcane Comet works extremely well. Especially, uh, if you're having the pressure. <clears throat> it's probably gonna throw a barrel here. I think he's probably maxing his W right now, just because of the uh, because of the lane going so far. He's probably gonna throw in another barrel, so I'm gonna be backing up with it real quick. All right, I got him. There we go. This is the kind of playstyle that you want to have if you're playing like Rumble top lane. He has a very interesting kind of playstyle, I must say. I think if you're like 
if you put some decent amount of time in rubble top lane, you could actually like carry loads of games with this champion. Let's actually go back to base right now. Rumble is a, a kind of champion who's not really being played as much in solo queue right now, but he's definitely a champion that can easily carry yourself to like high elo if you're really good. So the first item, which I would recommend, is always going to be the Lyandris. Now, I would also recommend getting a Control Ward and a Revealable revil Potion. Okay. Now we can actually fight this guy again. As soon as we get back into land, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna start charging already. There we go. This is the way how you want to be charging this up. Instantly poking, taking the E down. And now, we, now we're about to catch him. There we go. It's all about maintaining the yellow bar, guys. It's all about maintaining that. This is exactly what makes Rumble top lane super OP. Let's push this all the way out. We're probably going to reset again. Nice. I got to be really careful, though. There could be a Joner coming topset right now. I'll just quickly place a war. Actually, Jonas actually. Oh wait, that's that's. Okay, wait. Never mind. Uh, that's not going to be the jungler. The jungler is probably just here right now. Yeah, he's here. I'm not going to get caught into that. Nice. That's really good. Maybe pop another E there. Look at how much damage we're actually doing right now. I think I could kill the... The jungler if he comes in. Alright, I got him. Nice. Pretty close though, I won't lie. Like, actually 25 HP right now. I actually kind of thought that it was going to be a lot, um, I didn't know it was going to be that close to be honest, I won't lie, I won't lie there. I did not expect this, but no problem. Now we can go back to base and we can already afford the Lyandries and we're only about 9 minutes in the game so far. That's insanely, insanely, insanely good. Now we can go back to lane. We are currently ahead of about 25 CS over Gangplank. That's also very huge. Oh, looks like this guy's going to make a play. Alright, good. Let's get this over with. Oh, yeah, I think they're actually swapping lane right now. Okay. He's not able to fight me properly. I'm actually way more fed than he is. I gotta be really careful though. The new champion seems pretty strong. Whoa, the new champion is actually really strong. I've never played against the new champion before. Whoa, whoops. Okay, I have to go back again. I did not expect Yon to be doing that much damage right now, but he seems to be pretty fat as well right now. Gotta be a little careful with him. I think I got him here. Oh, he flashed out of it. Okay. I was actually nearly going to kill him right there. But it's fine. I don't know what he was thinking there, to be honest. I think he was about to make a really big play there with his ultimate, but it did not work at least. Nice. We can push it all the way in. We can get a few more platings right now. Nice. Perfect. 
We can get at least two platings here. I would like to get one more plating before I go back. There might be a chance that the jungler could be coming here right now, so I'm gonna war properly. I gotta be really careful to see where the jungler is gonna come from. Don't know where he's streaming. He did not hit the barrel there. He could have actually hit it. We can deny him like a lot of farm as well. Okay. I think we can uh, all in this guy right away. Nice. I can deny him so much. Okay, I think we can dive him again right now. Uh, my ultimate was not the best there. If I actually use my Q and my W first, and then use my ultimate afterwards, I think we could have actually had the kill right there before he could, uh, before he could get away. That's fine, though. We can just keep on poking him like this for a really long time. We can keep doing this on repeat. I took a little bit too much damage right there, but it's fine, though. Nothing to worry about. Let's stack this up again. Look how easy it is to actually like farm lane. It's really not that difficult when playing Rumble. He's probably gonna try again. Nice. Proc in the Arcane Comet again. There we go. We make him stay, so that's great too. Yep, got him. Nice. Now we can push the next wave as well. I think Yon could probably be coming top lane right now, so we gotta be really careful of this guy. Yeah, that's Lilia. I think I can fight Lilia just fine if she shows up. There we go. Now we can actually go back to base and we can actually afford the next item, which will be uh, the Sorcerer's Boots, but also the Zonias. There we go. And I will instantly buy this one. There we go. I will sell the potions as I don't really need that anymore. And I'll also get a Red Trinket. So they are completely full AD in this game, right? They have Yon, which is AD. They have Lilia, who is... Actually, Lilia is AP. Never mind. Uh, but they have, like, AD team comp in general. So getting a Zhonyas as quickly as possible is... As quickly as possible is actually great. It's Yasuo versus Yasuo here. Look at this. They're... The champion nearly works the entire, entire same, actually. Actually, you missed the one. Mm, pretty close, though, won't lie. Ah, I got him. I think if. 
If Yasuo actually used his Q before, we could have actually uh, we could have actually killed both of them without even being that close. I think he gets them. All right, let's make our way back to base right now. Now I can actually get this one. We could TP to this one to stop her from doing whatever she's doing. Nice. Let's push to the next wave as well, and then we're going to be uh, probably going to be roaming uh, afterwards. We will see about that. Nice. There we go. I've actually been putting a few points into my W, which I didn't really want to do, but whatever. Okay. If he gets close to me, then I could easily uh, fight him again. Oh, I accidentally pulled myself into the red, red zone. I actually didn't want to do that. So around this point in the game is where Gangplank also gets his items and where it gets a little bit more difficult. But since we're like 7 kills ahead, we don't have to worry at all right now. I'm just going to keep pushing it over and over. Nice. That's a lot of damage right there. He's walking straight up into it. I got him here. There we go. As long as you engage with the red zone, then you can do so much against him. The red zone of Rumble, like as soon as the thing turns red, you will do so much damage. You can 1v1 so easily. Like your damage is like insane if, if, if you play around it. This is what makes Rumble like very high skill cap, like really high skill. But once you get like the, the hang of like the red bar, it's actually so, so, so OP. So the next item which I would recommend buying at some point is going to be the Zhonya's. And then, and then afterwards you want to be getting a Void Staff. Let's go mid lane. I think if we group up as 5 right now and we move up mid lane, I think we can force like pretty much all turrets in, like immediately. Okay. Now we've got this guy. I think I could still, I, I could still kill him I think. Alright, there we go. Let's see if I can pull like a really good ultimate on them. Shasan's walking right through it. Nice. We could force at least another one. I don't want to get caught into Lilia's thing though, so I will go back to base right now. Okay, so now, now we can actually like we're actually 50 CS ahead of them right now. We have about eight kills, which is insanely much. Uh, I'm gonna try to like catch this gangplank here right now. I'm, co I'm gonna hope that, like if he's actually gonna stay here, that would be nice. I don't think he's gonna stay though. Okay, we got him. Thank you very much. 
I got him too. I got him. Oh, he's actually fleshing out of that one. Oh, that would have been... That would have actually been a free kill right there. I still had my Zhonyas though. I could have popped my Zhonyas right on the spot before he actually killed me right there. And probably still get the kill with my QE afterwards, but whatever. That was... Uh... I actually didn't want that to happen, but whatever. Ooh, you will get him. Nice. Perfect. That's really nice. Okay. Sweet. Look at that Yon. I actually would like to like try out the new champion right now. I haven't tried it out yet. It looks it looks like a <laughs> it looks like a replicate of Yasa actually. It's pretty much the same. All right, we're going to be forcing another fight right now. I'm just going to be walking around mid and bottom, especially like bottom because I have my TP up right now. I think I could try to get a catch here. Maybe they're doing the walls right here. I got him. Uh, he's actually. I could have popped my Q with it too. Okay, that's nice. They've managed to clean it up. They they could push mid lane right now and then force the turret. Uh, wait for it. He's gonna be- Oh, they're actually gonna do that. Okay. Hey, anyways, guys, this is pretty much how you play Rumble in the top lane. Thank you so much for watching today. If you want to see, like, more games and stuff, like, more challenging gameplay and all that stuff, don't forget to check out my live stream, guys. There will be a link inside the description below. I'm streaming, like, six times a week right now, so don't forget to check that out, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching today. I'll catch you guys up next time. Peace.